Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about impact of uh, wrong relay coordination uh, relay setting in case of distribution substation. So in this figure, we have a one uh, 10 MB 33 by 11 KB distribution type transformer. Here 33 is the delta connected, 11 KB is the star connected and percentage impedance is 8%. So this 11 KB that is incomer is connected to 11 KB bus and from the 11 KB bus we have two feeders. So in this feeder uh, we have the CT ratio as a 200 by 1 and here the CT ratio as 400 by 1. So from the CT secondary side feeder a non-directional overcurrent and earth fault relay is connected again for this feeder non-directional overcurrent and earth fault relay is connected. 51 is the ANC code for non-directional overcurrent protection and 15 is the ANC code for non-directional earth fault protection relay. And in the LV side of the transformer that is for 10 MVA from the CT secondary side again uh, a non-directional overcurrent and earth fault relay is connected. So the relay coordination is, will be such that if any fault occur in this feeder first uh, this relay should be picked up and trip this circuit breaker and if this relay is unable to uh, clear this fault due to some reason or due to some breaker stuck problem then only this LV over current and earth fault relay will uh, clear this fault after certain time delay by tripping this circuit breaker. This is the circuit breaker of 11 KB incomer. So this is the coordination of the relay setting. So here uh, for all the relays, uh, IEC standard inverse curve uh, for 3 seconds is chosen uh, where the trip time T is given by 0.14 into TMS divided by PSM to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 where PSM is the uh, ratio of the fault current to the current setting value. So here uh, uh, CT ratio is 200 by 1 and the relay setting in terms of secondary value is 1 ampere and TMS value is 0.1. Again uh, here the CT ratio is same uh, is, is different that is 400 by 1 and the current setting value in terms of secondary value is 1 ampere and TMS is 0.1. Again for the incomer that is the LV side of the transformer uh, the current set as 1 ampere since uh, the full load current uh, in the LV side is 525 ampere considering 10% full load uh, current is uh, 592 ampere. So here I set is set at 1 ampere in terms of secondary or in terms of primary it is 600 ampere and TMS is chosen as 0.1 ampere. So we'll study what will be the impact of the fault in feeder A in this uh, relay trip time and again uh, fault occur in feeder B and uh, the relay trip time what will be the impact of the relay trip time in the LB backup over current relay. Uh, now let us uh, fault occur in feeder A in which the fault current is 2000 ampere. Since the relay setting is 1 ampere uh, in terms of the primary the relay setting value is 200 ampere as the CT ratio is 200 by 1. So the value of the plug setting multiplier or PSM comes as fault current divided by relay setting. So it will be 2000 divided by 200 which comes as 10 ampere. So here the trip time that is after the time which uh, relay will give a trip signal to the circuit breaker comes as as per IC standard inverse curve that is 0.14 into TMS. TMS is set at 0.1 divided by PSM to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 that is 10 to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 which comes as 290 millisecond. So since the fault current is 2000 ampere after 2000, uh, 297 millisecond it will send a trip signal to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker will take another 60 to 80 millisecond uh, to uh, clear the fault. So in order to clear the fault it will 
require almost 380 millisecond okay then uh, what should be the impact of this fault current uh, in the relay which is connected to the lv side over current relay so since fault occur in this feeder so this fault current will be supplied from the lv side over current uh, of the transformer or lv side of the transformer so this fault current uh, will sense by the relay which is connected from this ct secondary side so considering that uh, the feeder uh, that is the feeder two load is minimum or zero so here the psm value is uh, fault current divided by uh, relay setting relay setting is one ampere in terms of secondary which is 6 600 ampere in terms of primary so psm comes as 2000 divided by 600 which is 3.3 so relay trip time will be t is equal to 0.14 into tms value of tms is equal to 0.1 divided by 3.3 to the power 0.02 minus 1 which comes as 579 millisecond so we can see that uh, due to fault occur at this point of this feeder and value of the fault current is 1000 ampere uh, this relay will not trip prior to this relay so there is a no problem of the relay coordination but now let us consider an another case uh, that fault occur very close to this feeder and very close to this bus so what will be the maximum fault current uh, so this maximum fault current will be uh, governed by the percentage impedance of the transformer since the percentage impedance of the transformer is 8 percent so maximum fault current will be uh, the full load current in the lv side divided by percentage impedance which comes as 525 divided by 0 0.08 since 525 is the full load current in the lv side of the 10 mba transformer so value of the maximum fault current is 6563 ampere so due to fault occur very close to this bus but in this feeder the fault current value will be maximum and here the if is equal to 6563 ampere so the psm value for this relay that is relay which is connected in the ct secondary side of the feeder a will be 6563 divided by divided by 200 which comes as 32.8 so the value of the trip time uh, which is taken by the relay is equal to uh, 0.14 into 0.1 divided by 32.8 to the power 0.02 minus 1 which comes as 193.6 millisecond so due to fault occur very close to this feeder this fault current will be supplied by this transformer and, uh, and this relay will pick up at the same time so in this relay the psm value is 6563 divided by 600 which is 10.94 so what is the trip time trip time is given by 0.14 into 0.1 divided by psm to the power 0 0.02 which is 10 to the 10.94 to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 which comes as 285.6 millisecond so here the difference between the uh, trip time which is taken by this relay and this relay is almost uh, 90 millisecond so there is a, a close approximation uh, only 90 millisecond difference is there for tripping time so here should be the margin should be a, almost 100 should be above 100 millisecond 100 to 120 millisecond but uh, since the tripping time tripping time of the circuit breaker is 60 millisecond and within after 60 to 80 millisecond fault will be cleared so there is a no problem uh, for relay sitting of this feeder with the lv side of the incomer now let us consider that uh, fault occur in the feeder b uh, let us consider that uh, fault current is uh, 2000 ampere for the same case uh, it was happened in case of feeder a so here uh, fault current i is equal to 2000 ampere uh, since the fault current is supplied by this uh, transformer so here the 
value of the PSM is equal to uh, mm, fault current divided by current setting. Current setting is set as 1 ampere in terms of secondary. So in terms of primary, it will be 400 since the CT ratio is 400 by 1. So value of the PSM is equal to 2000 divided by 400, which is equal to 5. So the trip time, uh, which is taken by the relay to give a trip signal to the circuit breaker is equal to 0.14 into TMS, that is 0.1 divided by 5 to the power 0 0.02 minus 1, which comes as 428 millisecond. Now let us uh, take uh, the same uh, example, that is the due to fault current at feeder end, what will be the trip time uh, or trip time taken by this uh, LV over current relay. So in this case, uh, the value of the PSM is 2000 divided by 600, which comes as 3.3. And the value of the tick time, which is given as as per IC uh, standard inverse uh, for three second curve is equal to 0.14 into 0.1 divided by 3.3 to the power 0 0.02 minus 1, which is 579 milliseconds. So in case of lower current, there is a no problem since there is a margin of uh, almost uh, 150 millisecond. Uh, difference between the tipping time of the LV backup over current relay and the feeder over current relay. Uh, now let us discuss that uh, fault occur very close to the 11 kV bus, but uh, this fault occur in this feeder. So due to fault occur very close to the 11 kV bus, maximum fault current will be supplied by the transformer. So in this case, uh, the maximum fault current is equal to 6563 ampere so let us discuss what will be what will be the impact of the maximum fault current of the tripping time of this relay and the backup over current relay of the lp side of the transformer so here the psm is equal to uh, 6163 divided by 400 which comes as 16.41 so the trip time of the relay comes as 0.14 into 0.1 divided by 16.41 to the power 0 0.02 minus 1, which comes as 440, 243 milliseconds. So this is the tripping time uh, taken by the relay. So uh, again, a breaker will take another 60 to 70 milliseconds. So uh, total there will be 300 to 307, uh, 310 milliseconds in order to clear this fault. So, in case of fault occur in this feeder, what will be the impact of the relay trip time for the LV side backup over current relay? So, in this case, uh, the PSM value is equal to the fault current divided by relay setting, which is equal to 6563 divided by 600, which comes as 10.94. So, the relay trip time is equal to 0.14 into 0.1 divided by 10.94 divided to the power 0 0.02 minus 1, which comes as 280 milliseconds. So before uh, clearing of this fault by the circuit breaker, this delay will also send a trip signal to this circuit breaker. So fault occur in this feeder, but due to the wrong relay coordination, this incomer will be trip, which result of the healthy feeder to interrupt the power. So this is the impact of the wrong relay coordination setting in case of distribution system. So the relay setting should be proper so that uh, in case of fault occur in feeder, any of the feeder, this LV over current relay should not trip. So this is the uh, this is the video for the relay wrong coordination setting. So friends, if you like my video, then go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.